It's a funny thing, man, that I learned later in life. But everything that you're imagining, God puts everything he has for you in your imagination. Albert Einstein had a quote. He said, oh, imagination is everything. It's a preview to life's coming attractions. What actually happens is God puts your real life in your imagination. See, this stuff that you've been imagining is not hocus pocus. God is showing you a preview of a coming attraction he has for you. And he puts it in your imagination. The problem with your imagination, though, is you tell it to the wrong people. That's the whole problem. See, if you want to kill a big dream, tell it to a small-minded person. How many times has God showed you something so vividly clear that you just knew it was perfect? You shared it with your loved ones and your friends, and they shot it down. You know why they shot it down? Because they couldn't see it. You know why they couldn't see it? Because God didn't show it to them. He showed it to you. And so all these things you've been imagining has been God planting seeds in your head of what he has for you. That's why when you're driving down the street and you see the car in the window, you imagine yourself driving that one instead of the one you got. Because that's the car God will give you. God is in your imagination. He ain't in your paycheck. He ain't in your current set of situ situations. God is in your imagination. He put, I imagined at 10 I would be on TV. Now, I didn't get there until I was 38, but I got there. Do you know all the stuff you've imagined was really God just showing you a preview of a coming attraction he has for you? People don't understand that about their imagination. The school system would teach people the truth. The problem with school is it don't teach you how to be successful. That's the problem. College don't teach you how to be successful, nor does school. There's nothing wrong with it. If you want to be a doctor, lawyer, dentist, you got to go to school. But if you want to be successful, what you're supposed to do? You have to develop the principles of success. School teaches you how to memorize stuff. We're going to test you on it, and you recall what you've read, and we're going to give you a grade on it. Okay, when you get that degree, how you become successful, though? They don't teach you success. You teach success by changing your mental process. The difference between successful people and non-successful people, it has nothing to do with anything except how you think. That's the only difference, man. Successful people have developed the thought process. You all, you all have it. You just got to learn the principles of success. All y'all. All of you gifted. All of you have a gift. God made you with a gift. That, bro, all of you are gifted people. More gifted than me. You think because I'm out here, I'm the gifted one? I just got one gift. I can take information and transpose it into comedy immediately. Now, that's a gift and a curse. <laughs> that's a problem when you're young. That, you know how many woman's I done took? Fine. Off. You know how many times I've been to the principal's office? I've been to the principal's office, I promise you, more than all of y'all total. <laughs> ah, 15, 20 times a year. Easy. Easy for just fine <laughs> off. Because this gift, I couldn't fix it. I didn't know how to control it. I just said what the <laughs> I thought was. <laughs> what's funny? I ain't <laughs> how you felt about it. I didn't, it was displaced. I didn't have no comedy club. I didn't have no comedy career. So <laughs> I just said the my mama was a Sunday school teacher. You know how many times my mama took me to church to get me prayed for? <laughs> you, you know how many preachers done done this to me? Got the hill. <laughs> Soon they do this, I pop right back. Ain't nothing happening. I be going, man, what is I'm coming down here getting my head hit for? And my mother thought something was wrong with me. Because I had this gift, but I couldn't fix it. But all of you are gifted. I'm telling you, I'm just waiting on them. I'm just telling y'all this. You have to understand, man that God has a really great life for you, and he put it in your imagination. You just gotta stop telling it to small-minded people. If you like Succeed With Knowledge, subscribe and give us a thumbs up. And thanks a million. Cheers. <laughs>